Hey everyone, it's Mother Geek here. Today I thought I would build this Ravensburger 3D puzzle for you. So let's start by opening the box there. Just leave that there so we can see the picture. Inside we've got this, which is the base for the puzzle once it's assembled. Next up we've got the instructions which tell you exactly how to assemble it. And then lastly we've got the 72 pieces. So let's just open this bag. Now on the back of each puzzle piece, I don't know if you can see that there, there's a number. See how that one says 59? So what we're going to do first is organise these pieces in groups of 10 so that it's easier and quicker to get this assembled. I'll just fast forward through this bit for you. See how I'm just putting them into groups of 10 there? This just makes it easier once you start building it. We've almost finished sorting now so it's time to build. So here's the first 10 pieces then. So I'm just going to get these put together now. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the numbers but I'll do my best to show you. So this is the number 1 piece and the number 2 piece. Now if you look at the back you can see where they connect like that. So you just pop them together and then next up we need the number three piece. Now for this one the arrow's pointing downwards. So what I need to do is go, let's just have a look at the back. There we go. So they just fit together like that. So next is the number four and that's going this way. So again you can look at the front if you want to if that makes it a bit easier for you. But I love the fact these are numbered because it makes it really easy to know exactly which piece you need next. I can imagine it would be almost impossible if you had all 72 pieces with no numbers on the back. No straight edges or anything to get you going. I can imagine that is really, really difficult to do. Uh, let's just spin this one round. Yep, there we go. Some of the pieces are a bit difficult if they're all the same colour like that one was there it's it's quite difficult to know exactly where you're up to. So that's number six in. Let's move on to number seven now. Do, do, do. There we go. And you can see it's starting to take shape now. It's definitely got the domed edges. So we're flying through these pieces now. So on the back the little arrows are really useful to see which way your next piece is going but looking at the front is always good as well if you're in need of a bit more guidance visually. So this is the 10th piece going on there now. There we go. So the picture's really starting to come together as well. So we're moving on to the next group of 10 pieces here now. What I'm going to do is just fast forward on through this. You can get the gist of it here. What I'll do is I'll come back once we get nearer to the end so you can see how the final pieces go together. Now this puzzle is aimed at children aged 6 and over. I have to be honest, I can't imagine any 6 year old I know being able to do this without a lot of help. So this is where we're up to now. The pieces are starting to take on some really interesting shapes. We've got jagged ones as well as normal sort of puzzly shaped ones. It's getting a bit tricky to put them in now that the dome's closing up. It's really quite awkward to get into some of the nooks and crannies. But I'm managing alright. I'm not convinced a six-year-old would be able to do it without a lot of help though. So here we go. We're on to the last two pieces now. So you can see here how fiddly it is getting this last piece in. I must say though, it is feeling really really strong and secure, I don't think I need to be worrying about this falling to pieces as soon as I leave it unattended with the kids around. So there we go, that's the last piece in and the ball looks really secure, it's really cute, lots of great images on there as well. All told this has taken me, when you take into account the amount of speeding up I've done, it's taken me 18 minutes from the start of this video to this point. So that's the ball there on its stand, looking super cool. Can't wait to get this displayed up the stairs in my kids' bedrooms. Definitely not going to fall apart that. 
so two thumbs up from me if you've enjoyed this video feel free to like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye